we now want to look at the reproductive cycle of the cow. So animals only mate in a defined period, which we call heat. So today I'm going to focus on the reproductive cycle of the cow, but paying particular attention to this heat period. So heat, as a definition, is the period in which the animal is receptive or the animal accepts to be mounted by a male animal or by the bull. So the reproductive cycle of a cow is approximately 21 days. So what is a reproductive cycle? It is the series of events that occur between one heat and the next. So the reproductive cycle of a cow is divided into four phases. These four phases are as follows, with the first phase being estrus or the heat period, which is called day zero. Then we move on to mate estrus, which is from day one to day three. Then we move to diestrus, which is from day four to day 18. And lastly, the proestrus, which stretches from day 19 to onset of the next heat, right? So what are the characteristics of an animal that's in heat? Because that's important to us as cattle breeders. Animals only mate when they are in a period called heat. So it's always important for us to detect animals that are in heat so that we breed them at the right moment, right? So animals or cows that are in heat will accept being mounted by the male. This is the most definitive sign of heat. And secondly, they can mount other cows. And other secondary signs that you can see, there is swelling of the vulva, there is discharge from the vulva, and there is also redness of the vulva. The animal also attempts to sniff genitalia of other cows. So heat detection is very important if you are using other methods of breeding than the bull, which is your artificial insemination, for example, which will be a discussion of the next video as well. It is important for you to breed animals when they are in heat. So what happens with the breeding is that after the onset of heat, there is going to be what we call ovulation or production of eggs or release of an egg from the ovaries of the cow. So this occurs 12 hours after the onset of heat signs, which we have talked about previously, right? So ovulation has to coincide with mating, such that there is fertilization and then the animals conceive, right? So it is very important for us to detect heat and then we inseminate our animals at the right time for fertilization to take place, right? So I want to talk about two hormones that are important to cattle reproduction in this discussion. The first hormone that I'm going to talk about is estrogen. And this hormone is a dominant hormone during the heat period or during estrus because it is responsible for the signs of heat that are exhibited by the animals that are in estrus, right? Then the second hormone that I'm going to talk about is progesterone, which is known as a pregnancy maintenance hormone. So what happens is that in the ovaries of our animals, there are structures that we call follicles. And these follicles in turn release ovum or eggs in subsequent heat. So in every heat, there is a follicle that's going to produce an egg. And this egg is going to be fertilized during the estrus period, right? So what happens is that the remains of the follicle after ovulation, they become a structure which we call corpus luteum. So corpus luteum releases a woman which we now call progesterone. And it assumes that the animal is pregnant. So we are taught in primary school that progesterone thickens the uterus lining. It thickens because it's preparing the animal for pregnancy, right? So if fertilization is not successful, the corpus luteum will regress on day 17 of the cycle, which is during the diestrus period. And then the animal resumes cycling. So it simply means while corpus luteum is there, the animal cannot cycle. So that follows that animals that are pregnant do not go on heat, right? So it's either the animal is pregnant or there is a persistent corpus luteum, which is a problem which we are going to talk about later. So this follows that a cow that's cycling will always go on to heat every 21 days. So it's very important for breeders to look for signs of 
estrus or heat so that they breed their animals at the right time. So because animals are not being bred at the right time, it means they continue cycling. But there are other diseases that can also affect breeding, which we'll talk about later in this discussion. Private Animal Health, your partner in profitable animal production.